So that's the second one now. So we already know what we want to do now. So you don't need to be reading the question, reading the question. You already know what we, we have to do. What's the first thing? So place a, a rectangular prism. Mark the edge. Mark the edge. Mark this edge. And mark this edge. Very easy. Can you see that? It will make it easier. So I'll just join the lines. Okay? So just join the lines. So you join the lines. Okay? You have to be very fast, you know. There is no time, you don't have much time. Then we join this. I want to believe this is clear. So what's the next thing? So that is our outline now. What's the next thing? Measure four centimeter from here. That's the next thing. Measure four centimeter. So we already know what we want to do. So it should not take us much time. The first one might actually take you some time because I, but now we already know what we want to do. So four. Measured four. And what's the next thing? I'll draw this. You can see I'm very fast now. And after I've drawn, drawn this four, this is my N, N1, right? This is my O. You can see that now. This is my O. Then what's the angle they ask us to measure now? 55. We are doing for 55. So I take my compass here now. Okay? So this is my compass. Please make sure this place, you can see, this place was coincidence with this. Very important. And this place too must be the same with this. Okay, this is that now. So from there, we are measuring what? 55. So 55 to this place, to ABO. Don't forget. So 55. So this is 10, this is 20, this is 30, this is 40. So this is 50. Is it 55? Yeah, this is 55. Can you see that now? This is my 55. So from there, what happens? I'll draw. So after that, what is the next thing I'll do? Place my pins. You can bring your rectangular prism down so that it will not be touching the edge. But let's be faster that the video will not be too long. Okay. So we place our pins. Right. Can you see that now? Then we we'll replace this. Can you see that now? Very interesting. So what's the next thing? We view from this place. It's view from this place now. Okay? So let's go again like we did the first time. Let's close one of your eyes. Seeing it. Let's understand. Can you see that now? You can see that. So, can you see that now? So, very interesting. Then what's the next thing? We remove, we remove, we remove, remove, right? So, after removing, very important, don't forget, we said this is what? Our P1. Don't forget circling. This is our P2. Don't forget our arrow. The light ray is coming like this. So, this and this becomes, this becomes my P3. This becomes my P4. I want to believe this is clear. So from there, what happens? We join this together. This is what we are interested in, these two lines. That's why you are using a long ruler. You know, I told you, use a long ruler. So this. Can you see that now? These two lines, then I will draw this here. Can you see? Very interesting. So from there, what happens here now? We now need to draw this to meet this, right? You can see I already know what to do already. 
since I'm familiar with the number one now. Can you see that now? So what's the next thing we do? Let's label, very important. So this becomes our N2. This becomes our E. Can you see that now? Then this becomes our A. This becomes our what? B. This becomes our D as illustrated in the diagram. This becomes our C. What is another thing we need to do? Then we need to open to three centimeter again. So I come like this. You can see this one is faster now because we already know what to do. So it's faster. So don't let me forget this. Very important. Let me remove this now. I think you are done. Don't let me forget this. Please don't forget it. If in the diagram you have this arrow two, put the two there. Like this one now. I'm just seeing one. That's why I'm putting one. If you have three in the diagram, put the three arrows there. Very important. So what's the next thing we do now? We open to three our radius. Right, you see that. Then we bring to 